In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a Metropolis UI FireMonkey template to data. First, we're going to go to the File menu and select the FireMonkey Metropolis UI Application Wizard and then select the Grid Metropolis UI Application Template. So the first thing that we're going to do is add a data module to our project. And then I'm going to put a prototype bind source component onto our form. In this case, I'm using sample data, but you could also link this to your existing database or client data set. Add field. I'm going to add some sample data fields here. And then the next thing I have to do is use that unit, the data unit, in each of my forms. So I'm going to go to File, Use Unit, Unit 21. You could, of course, also rename this to a data, for example, to make it a little bit easier when you're referencing the unit. Now the next thing I have to do is go back to my grid view here and I'm going to launch the Live Bindings Designer which allows me to visually bind component properties. Now you see this data module here outlined in the mustard color and what that means is that this particular component does not live on this form. It lives on another form but you're able to use it um, with your components and you're able to bind to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange using the rearrange button. Select list box one and I'm going to bind item text to bitmap name and then I'm going to select my binding here by clicking on it and in the object inspector I'm going to go to the list item style and change that to metropolis UI. Now additional values have been exposed for my list box that I can now bind to for this metropolis UI template and I'm going to bind the bitmap to my item icon and the color name to subtitle. Now I'm going to go to the detail view page and I'm going to bind our bitmap here to the bitmap and I'm going to bind the item title to the bitmap name rearrange and then last I'm going to bind the item subtitle to our color name okay so now the next thing I want to do is when I click on one of the items here in the grid I want to be seeing the content the same content on my detail view so I'm going to select the list box one here and set up an on change event Now let's run this application. You can now see if I click on any of the list boxes here in my grid, I get the same content on the detail view. And I can also select the number of records that are shown for each of the list boxes. All I have to do is select my prototype bind source component here and define the number of records, for example, five. And then if I go back here to my grid view, you see that only five items are shown. In addition, you can also select whether or not you want these to be laid out uh, vertically or horizontally. All you have to do is select the list box and then select your style. The list style you can choose from either vertically or horizontally. And in addition, you could also choose to show or hide the, um, the scroll bars as well. Now, we also want to be able to use actions to be able to navigate through data here in the detail view without being required to go back to the grid view. So the first thing I'm going to do is place an action list onto my form and then I'm going to place two buttons. And this is going to be a navigational control in the style of a flip view control. And flip views are commonly used to navigate through uh, both data and images on Windows 8. And I'm going to position my two buttons here and then I'm going to select an action 
in a new standard life bindings action. This is the prior action. You navigate through the prior record and then this is the next action. And in addition, I have to go and select a data source. And I'm going to clear out my text property since I'm going to style this button shortly. And then over here, I have to do the same thing, select a data source and clear out the text property. And I'm going to browse down here to my style lookup property and go to flip view. And this is the flip view left button. And then I'm going to go over here and select the flip view right button style. You could also start typing and it will give you different options. So flip view right button. And now let's run this application. And here you see if I click on 14, I'm getting directed to 14, uh, bitmap 14 with the information about this entry and I can click the right arrow to update the data and I can browse left arrow to go through the data as well. And in this case, we only have five records in this particular example, but again, you could change the number of records shown. So if I click on 28 here, I have four more records. And then I hit the last one and you can see that this control is grayed out. So this was an example of using the Metropolis UI template with data.